Hey gang, this is Steve with Guitar Center. We're at NAMM 2018, hanging out in the Fender booth with Steve, and we're checking out the Parallel Universe guitars. So Steve, these are some mashup guitars of guitars that uh, never were? Well, sort of. It, it's, um, you know, Parallel Universe really sums it up pretty well, you know. Things that could have been, that should have been, that maybe shouldn't have been. Um, it, it's a tip of the hat to the custom shop, to the mod culture out there. You know, the modular nature of a Fender guitar makes it something that no matter what it starts life out as, yeah. it can be whatever you want it to be. And no matter what, it's always Fender, but most importantly, it's always you. You know, you bring yourself out in a Fender instrument. And so what we've done is taken some concepts from the custom shop, from the forums out there, from our own dreams and nightmares, and created the Parallel Universe series. You know, none of these would really make it out as, as production guitars in the full line, um, but it allows us to do something fun and exciting and different and crazy and, um, you know, ultra limited and uh, they'll be rare and, and Everywhere you go, people are going to ask you, what is that? And so that's that's the exciting part. It, it, it's so can we start here with the Strat Tele Hybrid? Absolutely. So the Strat Tele Hybrid is actually something that Chris Fleming out of the custom shop uh, designed many years ago. Um, it was done as a custom shop guitar, and it's something that we've all thought about and tried to revisit over the years. And we were finally able to do it in a production version because it fits with, with our concept here. So... Telecaster with a bit of an arm carve, a slight tele car, uh, belly carve here, and a Stratocaster pickguard assembly. So you got the three pickups, the five-way switching, um, you know, the volume and two-tone controls with your Strat two-point bridge. It's like a mix-up of really everything that you would want, and uh, kind of takes that Nashville tele nod, but Strat nod, and you know, Chris Fleming's a genius. So how how is it not cool? Um, so, super excited for that. This will be the first guitar that comes out of the series. And um, again, ultra limited, ultra rare. And so, there, what's the cadence they'll be rolling out? So, the cadence that uh, they'll be coming out is um, this one, I believe, should be hitting stores in February. Um, we may skip a month or so. Um, that's the cool thing about the, the NAM show is, you know, we kind of think of how many, you know, we're going to end up making, but just seeing the response and what's going on you know we have to we might have to make a few more than than we originally planned so um you know there's nine guitars they'll be spread out i think going through october and um you know may pull a little bit forward may push a little bit out just depends on how many we have to do but awesome. no matter what there won't be a lot okay cool all right let's keep moving on down the line absolutely what we have here is a player's Swiss Army Knife Telecaster. The Nashville Tele is a favorite of tons of players out there because it'll do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. So we decided we wanted to bring that up and make it even more playable and more functional. So we've taken our Elite platform, modified the, the body here a little bit with this really cool futuristic arm carve. It's got the belly car. We've got a, a direct mount Shawbucker. So for all you hot rod guitar guys, the Charvel guys, that sort of thing, we've got a direct mount humbucking pickup there for you. It also splits, so if you want to get that single coil zone in your bridge pickup, we've got it right here. Paired with a 64 Tele bridge and neck pickup, it really is the best of vintage and modern and allows you to do anything you want. And then we've got our incredibly comfortable elite neck. So C to D back shape, the nine and a half to 14 inch uh, uh, conical fingerboard radius with the bigger frets, plays like a dream, the locking tuners and the hardtail bridge keep it super stable. And again, it's whatever you wanna do with it, this guitar is gonna do. So the Jazz Telly is something that we've seen on the forums. There's a big famous British rock star who has a guitar that is kinda like this and uh, Everybody that sees those pictures were like, oh man, that is so cool. Jazz Masters for some people can be kind of big and a little funky, but the Telecaster is a universal thing. Everything stems from this. So we've taken our American professional Jazz Master setup and applied it to a Telecaster. So you've got the, the Mustang style brass, you know, chrome plated saddles and our new tailpiece, a round laminated rosewood fingerboard with the binding, standard three way switching as opposed to having the rhythm circuit here, master volume, master tone. You get two tone sunburst and surf green. So whether you're more of a jazzy classic guy or a surfy crazy guy, 
we've got one for you. They sound absolutely incredible, and um, they bring everything you want from a jazz master and a telly into one. Okay, so moving on down the line, the limited edition Troublemaker Telly. This is awesome looking, so tell me about this. All right, so the Troublemaker Telly is our nod to basically 70s rock. We wanted to kind of meld uh, certain features and certain styles into a guitar that is absolutely 100% Fender, but has a very different flavor. We've got a mahogany body, it's a mahogany neck with rosewood board. Um, under this absolutely gorgeous ice blue metallic top, you've actually got a plain book matched uh, maple top. A set of Shawbucker pickups. These are the same pickups that we use in our American Pro Telecaster Deluxe Shawbucker, but when you pair it with the mahogany and maple, it, it takes on a complete new life. Um, especially the mahogany neck and, you know, it's warm and has this huge round tone to it, but you flip back to the bridge pickup and it's going to cut. You just absolutely cut your head off. It's incredible. Um, of course, we got to keep it Tele Deluxe, so we've got the nice big headstock. Um, but for that rock thing that you can only get from sort of a top mount string sort of thing, we've got an adjustomatic bridge and stop tile, uh, tail piece. So it is a, a true rocker, ice blue metallic, also an ice T burst, um, top binding, witch hat knobs, a Cabernet style pick guard. Um, it's, it's a rock machine. All right, and so now the, the most uh, weirdest looking, uh, the Meteora. Now this is, uh, as the kids say, hot in the streets. Everyone wants to know, uh, what is the story with the Meteora? Okay, so the Meteora was designed by a, a guy named Josh Hurst, who works in our Nashville facility with the wizard Tim Shaw, and uh, where all our skunk works type stuff goes on. And uh, he designed this a, a, a few years ago, and a, a different version of this was actually shown at a NAMM show years ago um, as a prototype-y thing. But there was just the one and it was never going to really see anything else but that but we remember and Josh is a great guy and we know that this would do well yeah. um, it's polarizing to say the very least um, to me my take on it is if you were hanging out at, at Fender and product development back in you know say the early 60s and looking at a jazz master going what would that look like in a hundred years that's what it would look like um, it's so cool, but when you go that futuristic, you gotta do something to bring it back and kind of level things out. And how do you do that better than a set of Tele pickups and a Tele bridge? It's, it's a go-to, you know it's gonna rock every time. So we go a little bit out of bounds and then bring it back in. Um, the cool black block inlay gives it sort of that 70s hipness. Um, a cool unique decal with sort of the Jazzmaster flourishes around it, futuristic ultra rare this will probably be the, the smallest one out of all of them because everybody loves to look but a few people very few people are brave enough to wield it <laughs> nice that is very well put <laughs> all right so let's keep it moving on down the line here we've got a a thin line super deluxe Absolutely. awesome so the thin line telecaster super deluxe is something that we've done out of our japan factory in years past um, every time we do it they sell out faster than hotcakes um, so what we've decided from the popularity of that is let's do a USA version. And how do you do a USA version that, that bumps it up a notch? Well, we put in TV Jones Classic pickups. We did, you know, the, the back painted pick guard, the double ply binding. You know, it's a true semi hollow like it should be. It's got a slab rosewood fingerboard, you know, with, with the binding. You know, it exudes class and fun and that rockabilly riot kind of craziness. And um, it sounds incredible. Incredible and uh, just plays like a dream so and then of course we've got this uh, White Guard Stratocaster What's the story on this one? So the White Guard Strat um, had a life before as a, as a limited custom shop model um, Under a different name, but it's something that we we've all really dug because a, a lot of guys are telly guys But as you you gain a little bit in the waist area, you know You kind of want those belly carves and a little bit more comfort so the strap body is, is, I mean, it's perfect, you know, and so you've got the, the great contours and, you know, made a tele guard to it, modify it just a little bit and, and the, the tele electronics, it, it's cool. And then a strat with a Telecaster headstock is, I mean, it's a weirdo, but, you know, you've seen it before. And 
So finally, we're, we're, we're doing something like that in a limited production release, and um, it's very, very cool. The vintage, uh, vintage blonde like that, and then the white guard is just spectacular. All right, awesome. And uh, so this one, this has kind of been uh, the star of the show a little bit here, the, uh, the Jaguar Strat. That's right. So it's a long scale, so it's 25 and a half, so just like a regular Strat. It was sort of a nod to the Jaguar, the Base 6, and some of the coolest stuff that we've done throughout our crazy history. You get three Jaguar-style pickups, five-way switching in normal mode, master volume, a tone for the neck and, and middle pickups. You get a wheel up here to control the tone for your bridge pickup. And then you've got a couple of different modes here. So when the switch is in the down position, you get your Strat-style switching. You flip it up, you get your special switch here. Down is all three pickups on. Up, you get the two outsides for those really cool Jaguar in between surfy tones. Um, but in a long scale, so it gives you a totally different flavor than a 24 inch Jaguar. All right, and then last but certainly not least for the bassists out there, we've got the uh, 51 Tele bass. So tell me about this. So. The 51 Tele bass and those 50s Telecasters and those late 60s Tele basses and that sort of thing are basses that are revered by players all around. There's sounds that you can only get out of that big body. And the slab body stuff especially because, you know, after the P bass changed shape a little bit and all the contours were added, you know, something did change. Um, in, the, in, the, in the tone of it and, and the way it is. And some guys really, really love that big, fat slab body, like a Telecaster. You know, we've, we've done belly cuts on Telecasters and people say, no. And so we wanted to do a, a great Telecaster style bass, but make it more of a Swiss Army knife sort of thing. So PJ setup, you've got the 63 P bass neck profile. Um, individual volumes for the pickups and a master tone and the wicked Telecaster bass headstock so um, it's something in the bass player for all of us yeah. and um, they're, it's just super cool and the black guard blonde finish is to die for. Awesome thank you so much Steve. Alright so the Parallel Universe guitars from Fender they're rolling out throughout the year. Keep checking GuitarCenter.com for more new from NAMM.